Hey folks, today we will open hair dryer and we will try to find out what are the parts it has inside. So without any further delay, let us get started. So basically I got this from Blinkit. I will share the description of this product in my description area of YouTube channel. And basically this hair dryer consists of an electric motor, a heating element and fan. Now let's try to open it. So inside this box, we will get an manual. And our main product. And this is the nozzle they have given. So let's try to open it. This is a very compact size and you can take with this with your travel journey. And let me remove this plastic cover from the nozzle itself. So let me plug it with the power source. So now we have connected with this device with the power source. One thing uh, interesting I found it here like it has a foldable handle. So in two stages like 45 and 90 degree you can fold it and we have this power switch over here and uh, let's try to turn it on so it's a really powerful blow of air I mean hot air and uh, considering this form factor it has a really uh, a strong hot air blowing capacity and let, let's do one more time uh, with the connecting the nozzle I find a little challenging to put this nozzle on this front portion of this device I guess they have given a proper threading option rather than just hooking this device on the front end so after making a a lot of unsuccessful effort to connect this nozzle on this front part of this device finally I made it and I would suggest better they should have given a threat mechanism or something better concept to fix this nozzle on the front portion of the device anyway so since I have connected this I would say a really a really a hot air is coming out and with a very fair amount of speed so when this is getting concentrated over this nozzle area I can feel a very strong effect so I would say in the terms of price and the compact factor this is a really a good deal since we have tested this device now we will try to open it so let's try to find out from where we can open so you can see it here we have two fasteners so we'll try to first open this so we have opened this fasteners of this handle since uh, this fasteners head is different it's a kind of a star and there's just a little shape between them so i'm not able to find the correct bit of this fastener so i have taken this product to the electrician shop and they have opened this I don't know why these companies are providing a different head fasteners it really gives hard times to the person who is trying to open this so anyway since I have already opened this uh, so we can remove this and uh, we'll check inside yeah. 
Do we have one more? This is one of the cover and you can see uh, they have mentioned item number here dryer model is HD 1810 and power input is 220 to 240 VAC 50 Hz and 1000 Watt. So after removing the cover uh, inside there is one switch, one capacitor and uh, this power cable connection so basically this capacitor will protect the device by regulating the voltages and also helps to reduce the noise level so if you'll see uh, how we'll rotate like in 45 degree right so i hope i can remove it yeah so there they have given this one ring and so due to projection in this two areas no. this uh, device gets holding position and, and with that uh, we can rotate this in 45 and 90 degree positions here yeah. so like this uh, this projection on that ring area will help this position to get slock and this is how we are getting rotation at 45 and 90 degree right so let's try to remove it as well let me take out the ring so it got stuck on the other side and what next? We'll try to see on the back. So after removing this back cover, back side V1, we have metal filter. And this will help to pull the air. And on the front end, I hope you can see this four spring or the coils which heats the blowing air and so now we'll check how we can remove the other parts as well so uh, I'm not able to separate this middle portion and this front part of this product since it is getting glued over here until or unless I will damage this both two parts to get this separated. So one thing I would like to conclude over here this mechanism to rotate this handle. You can see this ring is getting held in the this handle portion like this and this projected dot will be fitted inside this groove area of the other part right i hope uh, you can see it over here this this and this so when it is like a 90 degree uh, the position will be like this and when we try to rotate like 45 this moves the position right so from here So ring will move on this this group portion so let me take out the ring and show you so from the ring will move from this orientation right to this location as you can see over here so this place was the previous location for this group and now it moved to this part so this is how uh, you can rotate it and uh, it will get fixed 
on 45 and 90 degree position so this is the like the main part for rotating and holding in the place for the handle so we are getting this rotation motion with the help of this ring so there is a, nothing much i can open it of this device so let's try to put it back and see whether it is working perfectly or not 